Iku akete Ireni Omo ilu ni gomi no kon Ishaya Ide ade di ronde Opo no Tuesday, 10th of January 2023, Dr. Abdulaziz Olaji de Adediron Jando and his running mate Ulufun Kakindele began the third phase of the ongoing visitation to all 245 votes in Lagos. In the next three days, Jando and his running mate will visit and familiarize with all 19 wards in Ikorodu local government. The pair's first port of call is the Adeniro Gusoya compound, where Jando and Funke met with four different groups consisting of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, people with disabilities, professional women bodies, and non indigents These groups, one after the other, bear their minds to Jando and Funke. Ulu Funke Akindele, with a loud cheer, assured her people, especially women and youths of a government that will work for all. Thereafter, Dr. Abdulaziz Olaji Dea Dedron Jandor speaks to the people of Ikurudu. To my president, anytime he's campaigning, Atiku Abaka, he has said that he's going to set aside ten billion dollars for women empowerment and youth empowerment. Now that money is money that is going to be given to all the states. Lagos will have its own share. We have put you in a basket across the states to make sure that when that scheme comes, it is you that is going to be the beneficiary. We depart from here, we move toward E2 to meet with artisans, CDA and non-Yoruba speaking residents of a Kurodi community. We have been lied to a lot. And we have been to the Baja, the Fufa, the Waro. This is Adamo Junction. The Jandolfun Kepe decided to engage traders, shop owners, and passes by despite the terrible condition of the road. Thereafter, we move to Araromi to meet with Adamo Joint CDA's Adamo Odua Progressive Initiative, Akon and Agunfoye volunteer groups at the Adamo Palace Hall. Some of the ballets on behalf of the community welcomed the pair. <laughs> We move back to Adamo Junction to meet with the Joint CDA and Odua People's Congress. Jandor reiterated some of his policies that will cater to the welfare and good living condition of residents of the Kurudu communities. Go on, Riva. Go on, Riva. To see. Oh no. And we are speaking. The bad man. Go on, go on. Jamal is very old. I don't know that we need to take cover from this matter. And still in Ward B3, it was another consultative meeting with Council of Neighboring Community Leaders comprising of about 20 communities in a regional. As we leave a regional town, we move to La Yode community where the ballots spoke about neglect by the government. Another evidence of lack of government presence, dilapidated and worn out in a road. Despite this, the people of this community came out to welcome their daughter, Ulufunke Akindele and Jando. And still in Ward B3, we're here to see Igede, Niger Delta non Yoruba speaking community. Oneness Joint Prayer Congregation, Integrated Agriculture, CDA, Artisan, and Youths. 
General and Funke strolled down the road to meet with residents of the Arawa community and volunteer groups. The campaign train is still in Ward B3, where Jando and Funke met with Joint Tailoring and Welders Association at Isimu Town Hall. Jando and Funke assured these artisans of a government that will not take away their source of livelihood, but will rather make their welfare their priority. <laughs> And finally, for the first day, we moved to Isiwa Central Mosque to engage the League of Imams and our fans the North. On Wednesday, 11th of January, it is the second day in Ikorodu with a loud ovation. Jando and Funke arrived at C4 in Ubugu town to meet with the non indigenous community in Ibish. In his response, Jando assured them that his policies are for everyone living in Lagos, regardless of where you're from. This is why, as a governor of Lagos State, I am going to put a stop to all the harassment they give to you people in Alaka, in Asmanta, in Alaka. We are at the moment on our way towards C1 and C2 to engage another non-indigenous community, but this time in a Gogo Bayoku. You can see the love, excitement that comes with knowing that a governor that will for the very first time be elected by the people is visiting them. We want to make you know we are solidly behind you. Your victory is a foregone conclusion because we are all tired of APC. We are tired of their incompetence. From here, we move to meet with executives of Igido Osomil, also in Ibubu. Take a listen to what the babalodja has to say. <laughs> From Igbobo, we move all the way to Alekwe to engage community heads and joint CDAs at the Alekwe Palace. Jando addressed the Kaviasi and community heads as they offer their prayers. Thereafter, Jando and Funke stepped outside of the hall to engage the joint CDAs and also a quick interactive session with the Joint Task Force, JTF. <laughs> The campaign council also stopped by at Oyebo campaign office, also in Ijede, which is in Ward D1 and D2, to have a quick conversation with artisans who have been eagerly waiting to see Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron and his running mate Olufunke Akindele. In the book of Igbo community, chapter 9, verses 27 says, for God so loved this Lagos state, and he has given his beginning son, Jando. We arrive in Mota community, what B1 and B2, to speak with residents of this community. Jando and Funke were welcomed by this massive crowd, with cheering loud ovation. <laughs> It is day three and final day touring all 19 wards in Ikorodu. Jandra and Funke went straight to the Adeniro Gunsoya compound, where these gentlemen, who are Korokwe drivers, have been waiting to engage with the Jando and Funke pair. Imagine myself with a master's degree driving this Korokwe, and somebody that a premises will come and want to collect half of the money I made in the day. I will not allow it. And I assured them that when he becomes governor, all their fears and challenges are over. After this eye-opening meeting, we arrive in Iga Solomade to meet with the ballet High Chief Jamu Solomade. But the residents who have come to welcome Jando would not let him go without hearing from him. But while these interactive sessions were going on, his running mate Olufunke Kindele stormed Sabo Market. <laughs> We arrive at Uwutu Kingdom. Jando walked through Uwutu Market all the way to Uwutu Palace to meet with Council of Bailes. The pair was received by High Chief Ibrahim Ayala. Jando addressed the Bailes and they offered their prayers. 
Janran Funke visited the Mechanic Village to meet with executives of Nigeria Automobile Technicians Association at the Mechanic Village. Also here today are the Ibira community and Takpa community. Number one, Number two, don't go back to the older people who are buying. And Josa, if you don't have here, you can see that you can tax here, you can buy the pay, and you can buy the money. You can show your money now. And you know, you can go back to the people who are in the man, you can't say, oh, you know, you can go back to the people who are in the man, you can't say, oh, you know, you can't say, From Uwutu, we move to Agbede. The devastating visuals of the road as we move from Agbede Transformer to Olusugo and then to Olorobo. Present here are executives of Agbede Joint Rescuer, Joint Agbede Community Heads, Agbede Progressive Forum Volunteer Group. People said you cannot go, but you disappoint them. The major problems are having a relationship Dr. Abdulaziz Olaji de Adejiro and Olu Funke Akindele addressed to these artisans one after the other. We leave Olorogbo and as we drive down to Andara Luye, we pass by Ita Oluwo Road. Take a look at the state of this road and see if there is any government presence here. We finally arrive at Daraloye to meet with the Korodu Division and League of Imams and Alphas. <coughs> Shomolu local governments received Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adejiro and the Jan Dolphunke Gubernatorial Campaign Council on Friday, 13th January 2022. <laughs> Friday and Saturday, Jandovio tore all words in this local government. Members of the party waited to receive him and his entourage at Verga Junction in Yanoworo. He was received by PDP Chairman Honorable Jagun Wasiu Adewale. At this venue, Jandovio meets with artisans including Mechanic Vulcanizer Association. These professionals bear out their mind to Jan Do on how they have been neglected over the past years. <laughs> Jan Do not only offered them some renewed hope, but also made promises. <laughs> As we leave Iyanowuru, Jandor side by side with House of Reps candidate Honorable Sheyolo alias Chicago. House of Assembly candidate Honorable Johnson walked through Bariga Market, reassuring Shomulu residents that a breath of fresh air is here. Jando walks all the way to Okuta Road. He arrived at this church to meet with leaders of the Body of Christ under the ages of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Bariga Chapter. They assured him of their support, but also appeal that their votes must be protected. Jando gave them the assurances and promises to run an all-inclusive government, which includes having an inter-soccer and sports competition to provide alternative source of informal education for the youth while they offered their prayers. We ask that the Lord be stand with you, that your effort will yield fruits. As we leave Okuta Road, he walks down to Igbogunu Roundabout to meet with Unity Spare Parts Association. They were so elated to see for the very first time a governorship candidate have an interactive session with them. <laughs> A 
It is Friday, and of course, despite his busy schedule, Jando will always observe his Juma's prayers. We arrive at Daranijo Central Mosque. He was received by Chief Imam Shamsuddin at Daranijo. After the call to prayer, a special prayer was rendered on behalf of Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron ahead of the elections. After prayers, we arrive Kusa Street to meet with the State Rent and Commission Agents Association of Nigeria. National President Godwin Alenke reel out all the challenges the association would like Jando to address when he assumes office this year. They want to also also do something about land perfection and regulations are CFA now don't make consent. Jandra addressed their concerns, agitation, and offered a breath of fresh air. Now you have requested for a land for secretariat. Abi? Yes. I know the other man that you went to that time actually promised you. Correct? Yes. But do you know why he didn't give you? Eh? Because he is not the governor. But me, I am assuming office as independent governor. So this that I have said that I am going to prove to you, I will give and no man will tell me not to do. We move to Oshikwito Street to interact with members of Agbekoya Group. Governor of Agbekoya, Ifalala Ifalui, and some executives welcomed the Jandolfun Care Governor Campaign Council. <laughs> Another walkthrough as we approach Shodimu Street in Shomulu to meet with non indigent escorts of Widows Association and Women Mobilization. These mothers passionately appeal for more empowerment to be able to stand on their feet. <laughs> Saturday, 14th January, Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron and his running mate, Olufun Kindele, and members of the campaign council returned for the second leg of visitations to all 12 wards in Shomulu local government to arrive at the Ahmadiyya Central Mosque in Lady Lark to meet with the League of Imams and Anfaz. <laughs> From Lady Lark, we took another turn to Egberungbe in Bariga to meet with executives of Egbe Omoeku. Thereafter, Jando speaks to these executives on his plans for all residents of Lagos. <laughs> Of indigenous, I'm sure you are aware. To Jerry Play or Pa, to my issue, that's my government bully bully. I want to be cool to see. I will not see Minister of Special Duty. To your friend, to one bed, or not, no more, to one day, commission and bed. In the intention, it's like a redemption fight. As these engagements continue on one side, his running mate Ulufun Kindele visits Alade Markets in Bajulayi. Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adedero continues his engagements with different stakeholders in Shomulu local government. We arrive Shulanke in Nakoka to meet with executives of National Union of Tailors, Shomulu chapter. So we are tired. We need to change. Thereafter, Kendo reeled out a special policies for all tailors in Lagos. We drive down to a bute in a large to engage association of villages in Bariga. You can see the excitement and happiness all over them. I'm going to to I'm 
days after that, executives of Okada Riders Association in Morocco also received Dr. Abdulaziz Olaji de Adediro. I represent the owner and session of Nigeria. Uh, sir, I promise you, the law, the law, the initial question that I have in the United States, that by the law, the law, the law, Finally, Jandon met with Printers Association, Shomuli Chapter. So on the issue of we printers in Shomuli, we've been encountering so much that, and we are not seeing the results. Jandon touched on all their challenges, engaged them on his policies that will create a business-friendly environment for all entrepreneurs working and living in Lagos. This is a jam market. Wednesday, 18th January, Lagos PDP Deputy Governorship candidate Olufun Kindele went around some markets in Etiosa local government. On this tour are the two PDP House of Assembly candidates, Honorable Hazan Zamani and Honorable Akim Jinadu of Etiosa Constituency 1 and 2. Do you want a change? When election day come out, please vote for PDP. It was another day to preach the gospel of Jafweku the breath of fresh air to these traders and shop owners. Olufunke Akindele was welcomed with a loud ovation by these traders as she goes round all sections of the markets one after the other, including Fakoradea Food Market, delivering the agenda of herself and Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adedino Jando. <laughs> Thereafter, a courtesy visit to the Yaloja, Madam Aminat Adewale Alagba. As we leave Aja, we drove all the way to Abalinde, we arrive in Ije Market. These traders, shop owners, all came out to see the one who has brought them the message of a better Lagos without discrimination, oppression, multiple taxation, as Olufunke Akindele continues with the message of the breath of fresh air moving from one stall to another. <laughs> Speaking with the traders, she paid a courtesy visit to the Madam General of EJ Markets. From there, we moved to Mami Market, also in Obalinde. <laughs> If your children go to school free of charge, if we provide health, proper health system for youth, you know that the problem does solve. Please, we make a change. There is a huge difference between the relative experience of salary earners and those of business owners and entrepreneurs. Someone who has never had cause to set up a business of his, who has never had cause to source for funds, turn it around, pay salaries, pay back the loan and still make profit, cannot be expected to be hands-on when saddled with an economy the size of Lagos. Experience that hasn't curbed Lagos' traffic in 24 years of their reign. Experience that hasn't addressed Lagos' perennial flood 
experience that currently leaves us with over 2 million out-of-school children. The duo of Jando and Funke have been investing in Lagos's economy for about two decades, running their personal businesses, employing people with track records of success. Lagos needs a breath of fresh air. Vote Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediran Jando as Governor of Lagos State. PDP! Power, Power to, to the, the people! people.